Yeah, we learned that uh, 38 year old Matthew Walker was the shooter yesterday. He was also the person after a six hour standoff with police and exchanging volleys of gunfire and shooting seemingly randomly at times at uh, vehicles and other buildings. Matthew Walker did indeed take his own life, that according to the office of the chief medical examiner. And it all went down from his second floor apartment here at 241 Main Street. The sounds were unmistakable. My father was on the phone with the police department and he was standing right here and hiding from the pallets because he was like this and he could see the guy with a long gun out the window. But why Matthew Walker, who hours later would take his own life, unloaded dozens of rounds, remains unclear. Police did acknowledge a neighbor had filed a recent complaint against him. Negotiations with the individual suspect were attempted for several hours, but contact was not made. He sat perched at these second floor windows in his apartment at 241 Main Street, at times seeming to fire randomly, riddling this house next door to his apartment with bullets. Nobody was home, thankfully. Many nearby vehicles and homes were damaged. Initial responding officers did a phenomenal job containing the scene and moving citizens to safety. Oh my God. Several buildings away from the shooter, Pepe's service station, where a gas pump was struck with two shots and a close call for customers. It was a customer over here, self-serve, pumping gas there, and another gentleman pumping gas here. But we came to find out this morning that supposedly was deaf and couldn't hear us yelling at him to get out of here. But in the attached parking lot, the owner of Shoreline Wine and Spirits was struck by gunfire. We got him inside, I got him inside the building and stabilized him until the uh, SWAT team could get in here to get him out because the paramedics, they wouldn't allow him into the area. He had surgery and will soon recover. Police say Matthew Walker had plenty of ammunition for multiple long guns and handguns he used. And police say they did confirm today that at least some of the firearms that he used yesterday, long guns and handguns, were legally registered to him. But they haven't checked all of the guns yet and all of the ammunition. He had a lot going on on that second floor apartment. We're live here in Brantford, Tony Terzi, Fox 61 News.